Stories of our nation's past can get lost in the weeds or a battlefield bloodshed. If I can talk Bush Palmer into doing a painting and showing it to show, I know there will be controversy. And a dialogue will start, and out of that will come factual information. Barry Dardis is a history buff, working hand-in-hand -hand with the Northern Cheyenne tribe to depict the true story of George Custer's death. It started by reading the book Buffalo Calf Road Woman, written by Mary and Joseph Agnito. I'm thinking, everything I read is wrong. And how unfair that is to the Cheyenne tribe. On June 28, 2005, Northern Cheyenne storytellers broke a 100-year vow of silence at the High Plains Book Festival. A vow of silence and fear of retribution that a woman, Buffalo Calf Trail woman, delivered the blow that would kill George Custer. James Rowland, a Northern Cheyenne artist, stated in a 2005 Helena Independent Record article, in quote, it was the woman who took their revenge. You know, we look at what's going on around the world and how fiercely people will fight to protect our homeland. So, Barry and artist C.E. Palmer are doing their part to tell a story the right way. The only people who were really there were the Indians that, you know, that were still alive. So nobody else knew what happened, and they did. And uh, this, this is Buffalo Calf Road Woman. Buffalo Calf Road Woman became a warrior chief for her bravery, saving her brother in a separate battle. George Custer later killed her father. So that's why she wanted to kill him at the Little Bighorn. And the Indians actually let her do that. At Little Bighorn, Custer had two shots already in him, and a blow to the back of Custer's head would lead him to his final resting place. The painting in its early stages depicts that encounter. When I first started to do this, I had his both arms up in the air. Well, then he was shot in the shoulder, so he probably couldn't have lifted that arm up. So then I, put, I had to change it. That's what I'm kind of doing now, just trying to figure out how they were situated and everything. The painting is still months away from completion. And when it's finished, the world will never forget that a woman killed George Custer. In Great Falls, Ryan Gamboa, MTN News.